All right. We got a video called Facts About Anna Yanami. We should know the most demon girl of the season of anime. This blue haired fiend, bro. Don't trust her. Mad Dog Iris, give it to me. Let's see it. First up, she enjoys teasing Nuku Mizu whenever she senses an opportunity. Yes, because Nuku is an absolute loser. Pathetic, wimpy little cuck that deserves to get bullied. Yep, that's what I said. You don't like my take? Get the fuck out of here. Next one. Ana is a glutton and is often seen eating. That's right. This fat piece of shit never gains any weight because she is an anime character. Next. Also, she doesn't even buy this shit, bro. We buy this shit for her. She literally leeches our credit card. She's fashionable and often seen wearing different clothes as well as wearing nail polish. I agree. But where do you think she's getting that money from? It's definitely not her money. Next. She is 15, volume 1 to 3, 16, volume 4 present. Oh, okay. Good to know. Doesn't care. She still deserves to go to hell. Her birthday is November 29th. Okay, I will buy a figurine of Anna and burn it. Crucify it. Offer it to the gods on November 29th. Her zodiac sign is Sagittarius. All right. What are negative traits of Sagittarius, Google? Let's see. The dark side of Sagittarius. Um, is there a TLDR? Is there, is there anything? What is the negative traits? They're stubborn and pursue their wants with brutal force and often have little patience for they, things they don't want to do. Yep. That's exactly who Anna is. Impatient bitch. Very impolite. Not thoughtful. She constantly shits on others around her despite her own incompetence. Makes sense. Next. She was born in 2004. She was a fucking mistake made by her parents. Next. She is 156 centimeters tall. Yeah. Well, she should... Uh, fuck you, Anna. Next. Her weight? Don't ask. Fat piece of shit. Keep eating all that. I know Nuku bought you all this. And you ain't paying him back. She's quite known as 4K girl. What the fuck does that mean? I got no clue. Her audiobook VA, Rina Honizumi. Listen, the voice actor has nothing to do with the character known as Anna. I'm sure that this lady is very nice. Next. Her Japanese VA is Hikaru Tono. Exactly the same thing. Such beautiful maidens here, man. Voice acting this fucking demon. A demon! Her English voice actor, Trisha Mellon. Same shit. All right, she often bickers with Nuku when he says anything to her about gaining weight if she continues eating too much. Oh, I'm sorry for looking out for your own well-being. Fuck me, right? For giving a fuck about you. Pfft. Loser, I hope you get diabetes. Next. She has a playful and mischievous personality. Hmm, that sounds like cope. That mischievous and playful personality comes at the cost of everyone else suffering due to her narcissism. Next. She is known to be a very pretty girl. <laughs> Bitch, you still single. What's that pretty gonna do? Constantly showing herself to be a sore loser and narrow-minded person at times. Exactly, bro. She's an absolute glutton. She has the ego that matches mine, and she does not deserve it. Absolutely. I'm the only one with an ego that's allowed. Fuck you, Anna. Next. Oh, petty girl. Not pretty. True. I agree. She's extremely petty. I agree. I'm also petty, though. I'm very petty right now. This entire video is petty. When it comes to romance, she can be quite jealous, but hide your true feelings. Yep. That's why you're going to continue to get cucked. That's why you're going to continue to be single while the love of your life continues to live their dreams with a different girl. Next. She is widely considered as one of the most beautiful girls in their grade as boys made a huge fuss when they saw her at the entrance ceremony and had rejected a lot of confessions. <laughs> Them dudes, this is a blessing in disguise. Thank you for doing me a service. Thank God we didn't get fucking connected to her, man. Those kids are lucky. Next. Sosuke and Karen, even though relation progresses irks her, <laughs> you should be happy for your friend's happiness. But Anna is a demon. She's such a petty, jealous, narcissistic demon. She cannot be happy for others. Next. 
She often vents her romantic frustrations to Nuku. Exactly. Did I fucking ask for it, bitch? I'm just trying to chill here in my cafe and read my light novels in peace. You show up at order food that you're not even going to pay for. Like, did I even ask for, about your life story? Get the fuck out of my face. Next. She joined the lit club to escape her parents' surprise party and later realized that she enjoys literature. What? A piece of shit. Not only is she a terrible friend, she's also a terrible daughter. Next. She likes reading books because of Komari. Recommended books. True Komari based. Komari objective based girl. Yep, this is not an opinion. That's a fact. Next. She often uses Nuku as an excuse to get away from Sosuke and Karen's relationship as well as her parents' concerns. Yep. And Nuku... You also deserve this shit. Do you want to be treated like a dog shit? You will be treated like dog shit. If you're fine with being pushed around, people will constantly push you around until you stand up for yourself. Both of you can just die in hell together. Next. She occasionally provides emotional support and insight towards Nukumizu when he runs into problems with some other girls. Does she? What the fuck kind of advice has she given us? Does anybody remember? I don't remember. In the later volumes? Oh, it hasn't happened yet. Okay, that makes more sense. Cap then. She's capping. Next. She was offended when he wanted to break off the relationship due to wanting to protect her from the rumor. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Remember that shit? We didn't want to get involved with her because other people were talking shit. And then she rejected us, bro. And then... Remember, remember, remember at the end of that episode? Wanted to be friends and she rejected us before we confessed? Next. Even though she is very popular, she does not care about negative rumors spreading about her friendship with Dukumizu. That is one of the few very minor dubs that she has. Yep, I did respect that. Due to her own experiences, she heavily supports girls having relationship with their male childhood friends, supporting them such as Lemon. Yeah. Look how that's worked out. Every child of friend is losing right now. She noted that he treated Komari with more delicacy than her when they were out as a group. Yeah. Komari is an angel. She deserves that treatment. You are a demon. You deserve to be crucified on a fucking stake. Next. She can also quite kind. Telling. She's also quite kind. Telling Sosuke to run after Karen and confess his feelings even though she also liked them. Based, I guess. Next. She's a good cook with their bentos being praised. Yeah, right. When, what? When did that ever happen? Maybe in the future. Maybe she's secretly hiding her cooking skill. But everything that I've seen in the anime, like she literally just makes the shittiest bentos. She's embarrassed with her mother finding out about making the bento. Yeah, you should be embarrassed because it's fucking trash. Who's she making the bento for? Maybe for Nuku. Her father was paid in July of the first school year with some noodles. Soma noodles. Leading her to give cases of it to her friends and neighbors after growing sick of the taste. Yep. Father and daughter. Both L's. Soma noodles is the cheapest noodle too, by the way. Anna has been compared to an otter by Nuku. Cute and gluttonous. Yeah. I think she's a fucking demon though. Next. Anna's birthday is on... I already know that! Oh, it's also on meat day. She really, this dude really double fucking double dipping right now. She loves the meat. She is the only one who initiated their lunchtime meal spot at the emergency stairs. Hmm. Is that supposed to be a dub? A common running gag occurs where Anna casually eats portions of Nuku's food after finishing her own, sometimes leaving him with nothing. Yeah, she just eats all of her food when we're just like having a dialogue. Out of all the first year students in the lit club, Anna is notably the only one who is an only child. Yeah, shows a lot huh? how selfish she is. Next. She often justifies her unusually large appetite by making various excuses that do not make sense as she has no self-control to actually control her diet and weight. Absolutely delusional. She thinks that if it's like liquid form sugar, then the calories doesn't count anymore. Next. She's implied to be heavier than Nuku. Absolutely. Just the titties alone are heavier than Nuku. Nuku is like a wet fucking cardboard, dude. As she tried to avoid the subject after her jab at Nuku's slender build and weight backfired on her. She's probably twice Nuku's weight. 
She will remain like Sosuke. She will remain to like Sosuke if she so wants. This English is so broken. I don't even know what you're trying to say right now. But Anna keep getting cucked. She will keep going out and hanging out with people she wants to. Okay, I know that. She finds that books are wonderful and that she enjoys writing literally works. Because of Komari. Nuku is unpredictable just as Anna described to everyone. Is he unpredictable? I feel like he's been pretty consistent by just being a background character that's sometimes just... He, I mean, even the lemon shit, remember? In the confession... Not, not, not the confession episode, but the closure episode where... He just like, didn't do anything in silence. Apparently the light novel, he like, did something for lemon, but... Nuku mysterious? Unpredictable? I don't know. Later on, she frequently displays jealousy at the increasing closeness. Familiarity in Nuku with other girls. Yup. Mm -mm. You're not the main girl. I hope Nuku gets with Lemon. Next. She is C-cup chest, which is fit perfectly for her body and soon turned to E-cup. Alright, Anna's about to get a buff in the next coming years. And there's Lemon. Where's Komari at? Komari! Who the fuck is this? What the hell? the fuck is this girl? New girl coming in, but hey, please go check out Mr. Mad Dog Iris's channel. Give it a like and sub to the channel if you like, and I'll see you next time.